The Dead Bone, an affordable, American-made electronic game called, powered by Fox Pro and backed by their unmatched customer service. The Dead Bone comes preloaded with 15 high-quality Fox Pro sounds and can play two sounds at once for added realism predators can't resist. The remote offers extreme range performance and stores in the main unit for convenient transportation in and out of the field. The Dead Bone, affordable, effective, American-made, powered by Fox Pro. Don't let the compact size fool you. The Turbo Dog from Primos is packed with features. A 25 watt digital amplifier delivers long range volume, realistic sounds, and no distortion through the rotating horn speaker. The Turbo Dog is loaded with 36 program sounds and four full length expert hunt sequences from Predator Master Randy Anderson. Pick the sequence, push play, and Randy's doing all the calling. Match that with a 100-yard remote control designed for easy one-handed operations and you're ready for a game of Predator versus Prey. Want to load up more sounds? The Turbo Dog is USB ready. Just plug it in and download the sounds you want. The Turbo Dog from Primos. We take the guesswork out of speaking the language. Primo's Alpha Dog is loaded with 75 individual sounds and six full-length expert hunts from Predator Master Randy Anderson. These expert hunts are 10 to 20 minute calling sequences that are proven to bring coyotes in. Just push the button and the Alpha Dog does all the calling for you. This season, take the guesswork out of speaking the language with the Alpha Dog from Primo's. Hi folks, I'm J.D. Pyatt with IgoTech Game Calls. I'd like to introduce you to the new Gen 2 series line of calls from IgoTech. Audi design modifications to the new Gen 2 line include more user-friendly handle for carrying and hanging on a tree limb, 360 degree rotating antenna, extended front legs to cast the sound above vegetation, quarter 20 insert to attach the collar to a tripod. Hi folks, I'm JD with IcoTech Game Calls and today I'd like to introduce you to the new Gen 2 GC300. On the back of the collar you will see an external speaker port and new for the Gen 2 300 is a decoy edition. You can now attach a separately purchased AD400 decoy that will mount right here to where your battery plate cover goes over your four double A's that's in the collar. Simply remove that battery plate cover. The AD400 decoy will attach right into its place and screw right in. And then the cord from the AD400 will come around and will plug into your decoy port. Let's go over the new Gen 2 GC300 remote. As you, as you can see with the remote now that we've added an on off switch on the side that switch lights up the keypad for nighttime use now shut it off we have also added the ability to pause the sounds so if you've got a, a sound playing such as the bobcat which I don't have a color on turn on play the bobcat <coughs> And pause that sound wherever you'd like. Unpause it. And then stop it. You now have a decoy activation and deactivation button. So if you attach an AD400 to your collar, you now have the ability to start and stop the motion of that decoy. The GC300 will play two sounds simultaneously. In order to do so, simply select one sound button select your second sound both. and you can pause both sounds so two sounds simultaneously to add different scenarios to your calling situations uh, improvements to the antenna 
get the sound up above the ground, this collar is going to be a tough one to beat. The next unit I want to take a look at today is the Fox Pro Inferno. The Inferno is the next step up from the Patriot at $199. So here it comes with more sounds, 75 sounds plus the 100 free. It comes with a larger remote control than that of the Patriot with a larger screen and more features with it. Now the Inferno still has the high efficiency horn speaker, external speaker jack for more volume with an external speaker. It's compatible with that Fox Jack 5 decoy, has the aux jack to connect that. Um, so that's the Inferno itself there. Then the remote control where that difference is, you're gonna get better, better remote range out of this remote control with the Inferno than that of the Patriot. This remote itself has two preset buttons and it does have a Fox Bang technology. The Fox Bang, what is that? What is Fox Bang technology? For many years we've had Fox Bang and when you're on a stand, so when I'm predator hunting and I shoot at that first coyote, the remote control actually activates and goes to the next sound or your preset one sound, your P1 sound when you shoot. It hears the gunshot and automatically switches to a different sound. Now why is that important? In the field, when I'm out there and I'm hunting, if I shoot at a coyote and miss it and change the sound to a pup distress or something to that effect, they can stop and give me another shot opportunity. Or if I shoot that first coyote, a lot of times there's a second coyote on its way in. If I go straight to a pup distress, they don't associate that loud gunshot with that and I could call in and kill multiple coyotes. So Fox Bang technology, this is really where you're gonna see that come to fruition is in the Fox Pro Inferno that at the $199 price point. So that's a little bit closer look at the Fox Pro Inferno. Obviously you have your sound sort and category files where you can see all your coyote sounds, rabbits, birds, so on and so forth. Um, your preset buttons, you can still mute it, but the biggest thing is the Fox Bang with the Inferno that you do not get with the Patriot for $199. The Fox Pro Inferno comes with a three-year warranty again um, for $200, a three-year warranty, and is backed by Fox Pro's customer support. The Fox Pro Banshee is an all-new model for those looking for a portable unit with extreme volume capabilities. The speaker utilized on the Fox Pro Banshee is a speaker that we have used in a number of our models from the Fox Pro Hellfire to the CS24. And the beauty of this speaker is that it utilizes a 10 AA battery system, which equates to 12 volts to give you a unit that produces ear shattering volumes, clarity that is second to none, and a proven speaker that has been very popular in our line for several years now. The Fox Pro Banshee utilizes the TX915 remote control, which offers unrivaled remote control performance and long range capabilities. The TX915 remote control has a large LCD screen, which is backlit, which is gonna make it much easier to use when navigating sounds at night. The sounds listed in the Banshee remote control are listed in categories, which makes navigating back and forth between sounds much simpler. The TX915 also utilizes a popular feature called Fox Bang, which activates preset number one at the report of your gunshot. The Fox Pro Banshee, coupled with the TX915 remote control, extreme volume capabilities, and maximum portability, this may be just a unit for you. Like all Fox Pro digital game calls, the Fox Pro Banshee is proudly made in the USA. Hey guys, Mike Dillon here from Fox Pro. Um, Want to start discussing some of the Fox features that Fox Pro has become known for over the years. You know, when you think about what Fox Pro is and what Fox Pro is known for, it's being innovators in the industry. We have always released features um, that we have felt really defined us uh, um, ahead of the competition. You know, features that you as a predator hunter are really gonna use and are really going to enjoy. So today, we wanna start talking about Fox Bang. Fox Bang is one of those Fox features that really um, uh, um, made a difference with our innovation and gave people uh, an understanding that we really do have your backs. We're really gonna come out with features that are gonna make you a better predator hunter. Fox Bang is one of those features that will allow you to keep your eyes out in the field. If you really think about what some of these Fox features are intended for, it's to keep your eyes out in front of you 
and not down here at the, at, at the screen making changes all the time. If there's one thing that we can do to help you become a better predator hunter is by keeping your eyes focused out in the field and not on the screen. So what does Fox Bang do? Fox Bang will uh, detect your gunshot. So let's, let's paint the scenario. You're out in the field and you call multiple coyotes in. You're in the gun and you take that first shot. You know, what most people do at that point, after you shoot that first coyote, is switch that sound to a coyote pup distress. Because what that'll do is that'll, a lot of times, get that coyote that maybe had run away or started to take off, it'll stop them and give, give you an opportunity to shoot that coyote. But, if you are in the field and you do not have fox bang, what you have to do is you have to take your eye out of the scope, Put it to the remote control, maybe hit preset one or go to your sound, change the sound and, and turn that volume up. Guys, that takes your eyes out of the scope. Foxbang fixes that for you. If you have Foxbang activated on your call, you make the gunshot, your remote control will actually detect the gunshot and automatically switch that sound to your preset number one sound. That preset number one sound can be anything that you determine that you want it to be. Most people are gonna set it to a, a coyote pup distress uh, so that it'll instantly go over to that coyote pup distress, again, without taking your eye out of the scope. Um, and you have to remember also with Fox Band is that it has different levels of sensitivity. It has a high level, it has a medium level, and it has a low level. If you're using a smaller caliber rifle like a 17 Hornet or a 22 um, or something like that, uh, you're going to want to use the higher sensitivity. Remember that Foxbang works as a microphone. It detects the gunshot via the microphone and then automatically will switch that sound to you uh, to a preset sound. Um, if you're using a heavier gun, such as a, a 22 250, you may want to go down to the medium sensitivity. Um, and if you're using a Super Magnum or, or you know, a 338 Ultra Mag or something like that, which I don't think most of you guys will use for a coyote, but if you do, uh, you'll want to switch it to the low sensitivity. And also keep in mind um, that because it acts like a microphone, if you bang that remote against some plastic and stuff like that, it'll actually uh, set off fox bang. So you may keep, keep that in mind whenever you're carrying your remote into the field. If you have fox bang activated, it'll save you a, 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 a surprise one of these times if you just keep that in mind. All right, I'm gonna start by turning the X2S on. Then I'm gonna power on the TX1000 remote control. I'm gonna wait for it to boot up. And then I'm gonna go into the back menu and then select Fox Features. When you go into the Fox Features, Fox Bang is the top Fox feature that shows up. I'm gonna select Fox Bang. You'll see that it comes from the factory turned off. But if you select that and then scroll through the settings, you'll see the settings that you can um, um, change it to. So you can change it to preset one, preset two, preset three, preset four, preset five, auxiliary, mute, Fox data, and then back to off. So why would you want to use mute or auxiliary? You know, that that's a, these are things that give you an option to do if you call multiple coyotes in, and for some reason you want that sound to stop and, and maybe do something else, you have that ability to do that as well. Most people are gonna set it to one of their presets that, that'll, again, automatically switch over to that preset sound which remember with the presets, it'll also go to your preset volume level. So even if you're playing um, a, a rabbit distress at a volume 10 and you fire a shot and it goes to preset number one, if you have preset number one set to Kyle Pup Distress at a high volume, then as soon as that gun goes off, it's gonna switch over to preset number one at a high volume. So make sure whatever preset sounds you're using, you're gonna have them up at a high enough volume level um, to, to imitate a real coyote pup in distress. I, on the, this unit, I usually set it to around 27, 28 is where I like to put it. Um, so just keep that in mind.